This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Zigzag Fern. This design is being sponsored by From Daisy to Paisley, a book featuring 50 beginner level free motion quilting patterns available at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Zigzag Fern. This design is stitched by first starting with a long flowing line. If you're taking this throughout your quilting space, like if you're stitching this in the border or the sashing of your quilt, you're going to take this wiggly line throughout that space. So if it's a border, you're going to stitch it down the full length of that border. I'm stitching it across a block in this video, so you can see I'm just simply taking that line from one corner to the other. Then I'm going to create, come to a point, and I'm going to echo that to create this nice wide vine. Now it's time to stitch off this vine for the leaves. This is zigzag fern, and it's named that because of the ziggy zaggy leaves. All you have to do is just simply stitch straight lines and sharp angles, going out to the edges of your quilting space and coming back into the center vine. It's a very simple design, but some beginners will struggle with straight lines and sharp angles. This is a great design to practice with. I know when I first started free motion quilting, I found direction changes and keeping my straight line straight very tricky. So this is a good design to practice with, especially if you're struggling with that. You can see that I'm working straight down the side of that stem, working kind of towards myself. If this doesn't feel very natural to you, please feel free to rotate your quilt or your quilting block that you're working on and make sure that the direction that you're stitching in feels nice and natural to you. You don't want to try stitching, especially on a quilt, in a way that feels uncomfortable or just simply awkward. Uh, it's just going to produce stitches that don't look as nice as they could. So always feel free to rotate your quilt, reposition it, and make sure you can see what you're doing. As you can see, I fast forwarded this block so I'm further along in the process. And now you can see what the texture looks like. And I've actually sped up a bit too because it feels more natural for me to be stitching away from myself. Every quilter is different though, so definitely play with it and try it out on your own. Zigzag fern is fun because it's mixing two different textures. The textures of straight lines and sharp angles with the zigzag leaves and that wiggly flowing stem that's running down the center of that uh, texture. So it's combining straight lines and curvy lines together to create an interesting contrast. Definitely play with this in the open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt for a really fun, interesting texture. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Zigzag Fern. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting plus many stem centered designs similar to this one, check out daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com.